is a long story. It started uh, two, two centuries ago in 1882 when uh, the company was established to manufacture uh, scales for the cheese industry. Uh, as you know, uh, we are in the Parma region where Parmesan is produced and uh, one of uh, the possible markets for uh, that time was uh, the cheese industry. And uh, it then evolved in, at the turn of the century in early 1900 into the manufacturing of uh, wood burning cookers. And um, this was a, a great innovation for the times and uh, it uh, brought us into the world of mass production after World War I under the principle of uh, Ford mass production. When the war came, everything was uh, seized, destroyed, and uh, they had to start, my father had to start from scratch again. Basing on the technology, culture, and design, and uh, these, these kinds of things are, are the base uh, on which my father rebuilt the, the company. By mid-50s, uh, certainly we, the, the company started to have a better market background and uh, this is when uh, gas was introduced. The change of technology is a big challenge because you have a total new world in front of you and uh, I think that our engineering skills uh, that uh, derive from uh, the family culture and from the culture of Emilia Romagna that is uh, very strong in engineering uh, certainly helped us through that process. When we talk about a company that uh, spans over generations and uh, over difficult periods like uh, uh, we have the experience in the past, it's uh, certainly uh, something that has a value. And this uh, is creating uh, certainly the base for a, for a sustainable business. Taking over as a fifth generation is certainly a, a, a matter of pride, and, uh, but it's also is a matter of responsibility. What uh, I think is very important in my role is to understand what is happening around and what, is, can, what can be conveyed into the product. Whenever we uh, conceive the product, we have a lot of uh, constraints and demands that are coming uh, from the end user, from the market, from the manufacturing, from the suppliers, and uh, this is adding a lot to the complexity. So we build up a lot of complexity into the product concept that then has to be eliminated. So it comes into play what we call a subtraction process, where we eliminate all the clutter, the things that are not necessary, and we come to a point where the product is uh, can be manufactured uh, efficiently, where it works perfectly, where it delivers the result it's meant for. But it can become a very boring product, and this is what we want to avoid. We want always to add something to the product that uh, makes it exciting. Uh, but we can do that only at the end of the process, because functionality and quality are extremely important. This is where Italian really are striving uh, every day. The first thing that I'm focused on in, in terms of what we do is the quality of the product, the design of the product. I don't like referring clients to any product that I, I am not certain of that performs very well. So in terms of the way it heats, in terms of the way it, it reacts. The craftsmanship of Bertazzoni to me is one of the most important features. The worst thing that can happen to a designer is to have callbacks on a product that's not quality. And I never have a callback on a Bertazzoni, ever. Cooking is one of the best ways to relax and uh, is one of the best ways to gather the family, is one of the best ways to gather with friends. And uh, this is part of the tradition that is still visible in, in a product like ours. So food culture, is based very much on tradition. But product uh, has to follow the times where you live. So it's very important that food culture stays as an anchor for the product development. So the product is evolving rapidly, but basing on very solid principles. I love Bertazzoni. Bertazzoni is beautifully designed. It offers numerous options to clients, whether they're buying it for the aesthetics, 
or for the cooking quality. The role of uh, the kitchen ambient has, uh, has evolved from a, what we could call a, a, a secluded utilitarian room where you were supposed to prepare food. Uh, now we see that uh, lifestyle has evolved and uh, the kitchen is merging again into the living room. When the kitchen is merging into the living room, uh, we have a new challenge for the, the products. The, the product must be nice, must be uh, beautiful, can be shown. And so the appearance of them has become more important. This is where we see the future of Bertazzoni, to create uh, uh, exciting new products and evolve them into uh, high quality, into uh, respect for the environment, into respect for the, for the end user that will use our product for almost a lifetime. It's hard to beat the Italians at design, design and technology. I think the Italians are the best in the world. Bertazzoni is such a flexible design. You, you have legs, you have the perforated toe kick, which I love. Um, it can be traditional, transitional, or contemporary. Um, it really is not just one style. But then, really good design transcends all styles. The color options really appeals to clients um, that are trying to create a look and pull together their, their entire design um, simply by having a complementing or contrasting color to their range. The quest for sustainable growth and environmental impact is, uh, is very important nowadays. What I can see about our industry is not certainly a big change in materials, but an improvement in functionality. It will be a sum of incremental improvement and we will get to amazing results. For example, the use of electronics into the, the product. If we focus our attention uh, and we use the potential uh, of, uh, of an electronic board or a chip into uh, reducing, for example, the use of energy, we can get to amazing results. Mm -hmm.